Let's continue on with using our sum formulas of an arithmetic series. Remember how there was two? There was one where it's n over 2a plus l, and the second one was this one, n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1d. Hopefully you know what each pronumeral stands for. So we're going to try to use which one will be more appropriate in answering some questions. Well, we go to question one. It says the third term of an arithmetic sequence is 12, and the eighth term is 27. So we know what the third term is. The third term is 12 and the eighth term is 27. So what we're going to do is first find the common difference. Now to find that we have to try to utilize some of the given information, don't we? Now they give us the nth term, don't we? The third term and the eighth term, which means we have to use our TN formula. You guys should all be familiar with this one. TN is a plus n minus 1d, isn't it? Now let's use the first bit of information um, using this formula. They tell us that the third term is 12. So which means n would be 3 in this case, so I replace the n with 3. We don't know what a and d is, so I'll just leave it as unknown. And they tell us it's going to be equal to 12. And to simplify it, 3 minus 1 is 2, so I'm going to make that a plus 2d plus, oh, sorry, equals to 12. And I'm just going to label that equation 1. We can't do anything further, so I'll just label that equation 1. Now let's look at the second part of information. The eighth term is 27. So again, I'm going to use my TN formula, and I'm going to replace the N with 8 this time, because we're looking at the 8th term. So T8 will be A plus 8 minus 1D, and that's going to be equal to 27, as it tells us in the question. And again, A and D are unknown so far. So let's simplify. 8 minus 1 is 7, so A plus 7D is 27. And I'm going to label that equation 2. Now, guys, what we want is the common difference, isn't it? So, I have to solve these simultaneously to find D. Now, I'm going to use the elimination method, guys, because if I eliminate, if I subtract, the A's and A and A will be gone, it will be eliminated. Now, I'm going to subtract the first one away from the second one, because the second one has larger values, so I want to avoid having negative values. So let's do the second one minus the first one. So I put the second one first and the first one next. And then we're going to subtract. Because we're subtracting, guys, A should be cancelled. And 7D minus 2D will be 5D. And you know that 27 minus 12 will be 15. So guys, what's D? Just divide both sides by 5, and you can get D is 3. So that was very simple, wasn't it? We found difference. So, the common difference is, I'll just label it over here, I'll just leave it over here, let's just clear everything out. Um, that's the first equation, second equation, and we found that D equals to 3. So we're going to use this to find part B, which is asking us to find the first term. So we found the common difference, we found D, to find A, put it into any of these two equations, and solve for A. I'm just going to pick the first equation, guys. The first one, if you put D um, into, sorry, 3 into D, like this, See, a plus 2 times 3 is 12. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract away the 6, guys. So 12 minus 6 would be 6. So a is 6. So we found the first term. How simple was that? Just using simultaneous equations, isn't it? So let's just simplify, sum, um, summarize everything. So the first part, we found the common difference was 3. The second part, we found the first term was 6. Now we can answer part C. It's asking us to find the sum of the first 40 terms. So, we know what the first term is, and we know what the common difference is, and we know what n is. It's going to be 40. We'll have to use our sum formula, this one here, the big one, um, because we know what n is. n is 40. a is going to be our 6, and d will be 3. We'll put everything in. So we've got s40. So see how I replace the n's with 40? a6, d3. Simplify everything, guys. Make sure you do the brackets first. 40 minus 1, which is 39. Multiply that by 3, and then add it to the 2 times 6. And then multiply by 40 over 2, which is 20. And then just multiply it all out, guys. I'm, hopefully, I'm hoping you guys should be okay with the calculations. And you'll get a value of 2,580. That's the sum of the first 40 terms.